All right, Bill, you remember Heath Campbell, known in the press as New Jersey's Nazi dad, uh, the same one who had his kids taken uh, by protective services for naming them, things like Adolf Hitler, also known for going to court in an, a Nazi uniform. Uh, Hitler. Campbell is actually on the run right now, a fugitive from felony charges in Hunterdon County. Did, did they go ahead and charge him with with assault of some kind? I mean, aggravated assault. Okay, so they charged him with aggravated assault, which resulted in what? He's on the most wanted list. He was Who's on most in, wanted list? Hunterdon County. Uh, that's Bethany Zito, Campbell's girlfriend. Police say Campbell beat her up. But Zito says that's not true. She and Campbell had quarreled, she says. He left. She had a tantrum during which she hurt herself, she says. I went into one of my little fits. He took off. I sat around for an hour and a half, two hours, waiting to see if he would come back. He didn't, so I went in the shed, started working in there, throwing stuff around. Right. Got hit in the face myself. Cop says, oh, he did it. I figure, you know what? Let's get back at him for leaving me. Yeah, it was him. Now, Bill Bethany adds that three days later, she went uh, to Holland Township Police and to Hunterdon County prosecutors uh, to recant her accusation. She adds that she wrote letters that we have uh, spelling out exactly the same thing that she told me. But Holland Police told me this morning uh, that the assault charges are definitely pending and that Campbell has to answer for them. We still have that warrant. It's still in existence until Mr. Campbell is either captured by law enforcement or turns himself in. Are they spending resources looking for him? I mean, if she recount, recanted the entire story, isn't it very difficult to charge him? They say that when they were called out there, it was not on a medical call, but it was on an assault call. She essentially told them at first that she had been jumped. Ron? Yeah, and that's the problem with domestic violence. Uh, it's a lot of times the, the female in the, in the instance will recant what they said, but if they were on the scene and they actually had a feeling that Nazi dad did something. I mean, the warrant stands, like you said. This is very common in domestic violence cases, as Rohan mentioned, and we can't necessarily go by what she says three days after the fact. You need to, as the law says, go by the initial report, and sometimes women recant because they feel threatened. This is more than likely exactly why Holland wants to hear from them before they pull sure, any plugs on any charges. Sure. Remember why you covered the story in the first place? This man named his child Adolf. <laughs> and that's why this was what led us to him in the first place. You're, you're right, Jessica. It's why New Jersey, it's why he's known in the Garden State and some places beyond as New Jersey's Nazi dad. I don't, you know. Hard to be sympathetic when somebody signs their name with a swastika. Just I saying. I'll tell you the story and you guys fire off. That's how we do it. <laughs>